Jehovah has always given us the right tool at the right time to teach others. And this new book is no exception. How is this book organized? Each lesson is divided into three parts. How do you use it to conduct a Bible study? You might encourage your student to read the first part of a lesson in advance and to note the questions in bold and the key scriptures. Begin each study by reading and discussing the first part together. Next, consider together the Dig Deeper section. Begin by reading the introductory statement, which explains what follows, and take note of the subheadings that outline the main points. Read the scriptures, watch the provided videos together, and then discuss how the scriptures and videos answer the related questions. Discuss the artwork with the student, then follow with the questions found in the Some People Say section. Then, read the summary and discuss the review questions. Your student can enter the date the lesson was completed. Each lesson provides a goal for the student, and the Explore section offers additional content that may be useful depending on your student's needs and interests. I don't have too much to say on this. I'm including it more because I know the majority of you are not going to go back and watch the unedited full annual meeting videos. You're just going to watch the rebuttals because you're so easily triggered <laughs> by all of this. Uh, but especially for those of you who've perhaps never been Jehovah's Witnesses, who perhaps stand at least some chance of being hoodwinked at some point, perhaps because your life takes a drastic turn for the worse and something very painful happens and... Jehovah's Witnesses come along with all of the answers, it's useful perhaps to be able to see exactly how they intend to indoctrinate you. It's all here in this segment titled, Go Make Disciples. So they're explaining to Jehovah's Witnesses how to use this new book, how it's laid out, how it uses questions and verses and videos, this will be fascinating if you're a Jehovah's Witness. Not so fascinating for me. I'm especially puzzled as to why it's relevant for people to write in the date when they completed a lesson. I don't know what purpose that serves. In any case, do with this information what you will. This is the new book that Jehovah's Witnesses will be using to indoctrinate new converts. Yes, this tool is very different. Why was it designed this way? It's a lot like the teaching used in our theocratic schools. It is very interactive. On the one hand, the lessons are written in such a way to really make the student think about what he is learning. This tool has the ability to involve the Bible student. It shows them with video, and then they have references they can look at. But the way that it's designed involves them, and it really is going to give them a good foundation. On the other hand, the teacher can use the viewpoint questions to draw out how the student really feels about what he's learning from God's Word. This is the most thoroughly field-tested publication that we have ever produced. From writing the text to simplifying the text, polishing it, getting it ready, it has been produced so that it can be translated into many languages so as to help people everywhere. I just love seeing the governing body members getting excited about this new book, Enjoy Life Forever. We have there Tony Morris being interviewed, Stephen Lett being interviewed, and governing body newbie Kenneth Cook. Of the three of them, I never thought I'd say this, but Tony Morris seems the most convincing and the most genuine, even though he's quite clearly sloshed. 
ability to involve the Bible student. The man's all over the place. He's slurring his words. Goodness knows how many glasses of Macallans he'd had when this was being filmed. But at least he's speaking extemporaneously. At least he's being natural to whoever's interviewing him. And this is an interesting dynamic because when you look at Stephen Lett, he has this persona that he puts on for the camera. I recently interviewed his niece, Brandy, and she explained that look, this isn't how he speaks for real. <laughs> this melodramatic way that he talks is kind of an invented persona that he puts on whenever he's on the platform or whenever a camera is pointed at him. It just doesn't work for me when he's not speaking to camera like this, but he's speaking to someone off camera. It just doesn't work, does it? It doesn't work anyway when it's to camera. Obviously, he looks like a total clown. But it just looks creepy and weird to think of Stephen Lett in a room talking to someone like that, <laughs> as though that's how he speaks in his everyday conversation. So that really didn't work. And to a degree, Kenneth Cook was pulling the same thing. I can't believe Kenneth Cook really speaks in that way, in that kind of over-the-top, over-excited way, when he's just chatting with someone in the Bethel dining room. Yes, this tool is very different, but is it effective? Hundreds of publishers in almost 100 lands tested the lessons. What do they say about it? I love the new layout. It's current and it's intuitive, and the way the Bible truths are presented it's very logical and easy to understand. I think it's going to be a game changer. The Dig Deeper section is amazing. It ensures that the teaching comes directly from the Bible. Because this part of the study becomes a conversation, the students answer right from their hearts, which allows me to learn a lot more about how they think and feel. The new method really helps us to convince the mind and reach the heart. Most of all, it helps both the teacher and the student to focus on the scriptures rather than on the study aid. We never heard anybody say the paragraph says, because when they did answer the question, they were expressing what they really believed. The lessons are both logical and concise. The method is highly interactive. The students not only respond in their own words, but are also able to come to the correct conclusions all by themselves. It helps me as the teacher to talk less, and it helps the student to express himself and to think. And the videos elicited comments, sometimes of even a personal nature, that probably never would have come out had it not been for the videos. The aim is to get to know Jehovah, to love Jehovah, to learn what his will is for us and to do that will, and also to draw close to his organization. Yeah, probably mostly to make people draw close to the organization. Not so much about Jehovah, not so much about Jesus, not so much even about understanding the Bible more. Let's face it, the whole point really is to get people committed to following an organization headed by the governing body who get to control almost every aspect of that person's life once they're sold on everything they're learning. But just fascinating here to see this parade of people who are clearly very excited about this book, one even describing it as a game changer, even though we've heard already in this annual meeting an older publication that's no longer in use being described as a game changer. Apparently it's just game changer after game changer after bombshell after game changer. <laughs> Again, all necessitated by the fact that the organization is man-made and therefore constantly changing its mind. But if you're watching this video as someone who's never been a Jehovah's Witness, I hope you will take note of the glee with which 
Jehovah's Witnesses are embracing this new tool, which is intended to indoctrinate you. That's what all of this is about. There's a new piece of cult propaganda in town. It's called the Enjoy Life Forever book. And Jehovah's Witnesses want to use it to turn you into one of them. We are so excited about this new approach to teaching Bible truths. The main points stand out, the application is clear, and it's easy to remember. And everybody can benefit from it, from those with little or no education to those who are highly educated. Our students are going to love this new publication. And we will too, as this will make us better teachers of God's word, so as to make more disciples before the end comes. And how do members of the governing body feel about this innovative approach? This book has the potential to draw many honest-hearted ones into Jehovah's organization, to serve alongside us in pure worship, and dedicate their lives to Jehovah. Compared to all the Bible study tools we've used in the past, this is gold. And that's what it's all about, helping that student build a close relationship with Jehovah, and unquestionably, this new publication, this marvelous gift from Jehovah, will help us accomplish this worthy goal. We recognize humbly that whatever tool we use, only Jehovah can make it grow. So we're praying that Jehovah will grant success to this new tool to build and make disciples of Christ. We are not just preachers. We are teachers. We are disciple makers. This new book gives us what we need to help others love Jehovah, follow Christ, get baptized, and enjoy life forever. What a fantastic new publication. Yay, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> a new publication for brainwashing people. Again, just fascinating to see how fake, well, not just the governing body members. We, we had that couple at the beginning, Michael and Heather Leszczynski, who are apparently so excited. It just, it all looks contrived and forced and fake. These are people who are forced to like this. I mean, they're not going to say on camera, it's a bit crap, really. <laughs> Of course they have to love it. They have to be thrilled about this new tool that's going to help people get a better relationship with Jehovah. But Stephen Lett and Kenneth Cook, come on. I mean, we all expect Tony Morris to just be sloshed at this point, And it's admirable that he was even coherent when they were interviewing him. But Kenneth Cook... How wired is he? Can you imagine him speaking this way if someone approached him in the Bethel dining room just to have a chat? Hey, Ken, I've heard there's this new book. What do you know about it? Is it, is it any good? This book has the potential to draw many honest-hearted ones into Jehovah's organization. Okay. I mean, who speaks like that? It's all so forced. But this is the grand launch. Of course, the governing body are going to wax lyrical about their brand new toy, which allows them to also use their shiny video production capabilities as part of the indoctrination process. If you're watching this channel again as someone who's never been a Jehovah's Witness, consider yourself warned. There's a new book out there and it will be used by Jehovah's Witnesses who are very excited at the potential of making you serve Jehovah's organization. 